Hi, I'm Jeff Anderson. I'm a water supply specialist with the Natural Resources Conservation Service in Reno, Nevada. The NRCS in Nevada runs a snow survey program which monitors the snowpack across the state to predict water supplies for our streams and rivers. Snow surveys routes run deep in Nevada. In 1908, Dr. James Church, a professor at the University of Nevada, Reno, developed the snow tubes to measure water content of the snowpack. The snow tubes are driven into the snowpack to the ground and used to remove a snow core. The tubes are then weighed with and without the snow, and the difference between those two weights is the amount of water contained in the snowpack. Hydrologists refer to this as the water content of the snow, or the snow water equivalent. It is the number of inches of liquid water that will be released from the snowpack when it melts. If a snow tube measurement contains 24 inches of snow water, it might be helpful to imagine a lake with water two feet deep stretching across the landscape in that area. In the Sierra, big winters have snow depths of over 20 feet and snow water contents upwards of 100 inches. If you have ever shoveled snow, you know sometimes it's light and fluffy powder and other times it's wet and heavy cement. This is due to the variation of water content. From a water supply standpoint, it's better to weigh the snowpack to determine its water content than to focus on how deep the snow is. Dr. Church used the snow tubes to begin making snowpack measurements at snow courses on Mount Rose and in the Lake Tahoe Basin. Measurements were taken each year along the same transects. Those measurements allowed him to forecast how much Lake Tahoe would rise each spring. Today, the NRCS and other cooperators continue the work that Dr. Church began. During the winter, snow surveyors make monthly trips into the mountains to make measurements at over 50 snow courses. Some of those courses are the same ones that Dr. Church began measuring in the early 1900s. Today, a few of those courses have over 100 years of data. Starting in the late 1970s, the Federal Snow Survey Program began automating snow courses with electronic sensors to create snow tell sites. Snow tell stands for snow telemetry. These weather stations radio in snowpack and precipitation data on an hourly basis. The Snowtel system allows for real-time monitoring of water supply conditions, which is a huge advancement over once-a-month measurements at snow courses. The Snowtel network has expanded through time. In Nevada and in the Eastern Sierra, there were about 50 sites installed by the 1990s. The current network has 90 sites, including 26 sites that have been installed since 2010. We continue to look for ways to improve the network. Today, Snowtel sites measure water year precipitation, the snow water content of the snowpack, the overall depth of snow, as well as air temperature and soil moisture. A key component of every snow tell site is the snow pillow. Today we're at a different snow tell site where the snow has already melted out so that you can see what the snow pillow looks like. It's this large bladder that's in front of me and it's filled with antifreeze. As the weight of the snow piles up on top of this pillow, the snow pillow actually weighs the water content of the snowpack. It pushes antifreeze from the pillow into the shelter behind me where there are sensors that weigh how much water content is in the snowpack the same way that we weigh water content using snow tubes. But the snow tell site has the ability to radio in that information every hour throughout the year so we get a full picture of what happens through the winter which is a lot better than the monthly snow tube measurements where we only get you know, a few measurements each winter. Each month, snow tell data are used by NRCS forecast hydrologists to make statistical stream flow forecasts. These forecasts are useful to water managers to regulate river flows and to manage reservoirs, and to irrigation districts who use the forecast to determine water allocations Forecasts and allocation decisions assist individual farmers and ranchers in planning their operations for the upcoming season. In this way, snow survey data are the backbone of the water management and water use in Nevada. I'm Abram Shank, uh, born and raised in the Fallon area. Uh, I currently serve on the Truckee Carson Irrigation District Board of Directors. The data from Snowtel is really important because we work really close with the Bureau of Reclamation and uh, come up with forecasts. We look at it throughout the winter and, and try to come up with an idea of how we're going to utilize, uh, well, number one, the snowpack that's available. Um, so we have an idea of, of how we can set allocations and what the future is going to look like. That's probably the single most important aspect is knowing what uh, precipitation we're actually going to receive. And, uh, you know, knowledge is power. Knowing um, the snowpack and knowing that data that's there 
uh, allows us as a project to plan on how we're going to deliver that water, what it's going to look like. We can plan on improvements around that data and how to better deliver water to our users. As a, a board member, but also as a farmer, we understand the importance of having you know, water. We're in the arid west and don't receive a lot of water. We're dependent on the snowpack and uh, that Sierra front and receiving uh, that water. So knowing the information of what is up there and what we're going to actually receive, uh, that hard data is crucial and vital to you know, our operations as, as a district in delivering and serving the end agriculture users and farmers in this, in this valley and in this project. Well, my name is, is Ernie Shank. I was born and raised here in the Fallon area. So I've had a lot of uh, involvement with water, with snow surveying, with uh, forecasting water supplies. In fact, uh, for those of us who make our living farming, that is one of the most important and vital tools that we have. Uh, I start usually when the first snow falls and I follow it until the last snowfall. Uh, watch the stream forecasts, watch the snow survey forecasts. It's a very, very important tool and uh, we just really could not live without it. Uh, the year that really comes uh, to my mind is the 2017 year when we had, uh, we actually filled and drained Lahontan three times. And if it would not have been for the snow survey, uh, we would have not been able to control the water like we did. We actually saved Fallon from flooding. Well, I think the information that we were able to glean from the snow tell and the snow survey reports in 2017 saved uh, the Lahontan Valley. We would have had water in downtown Fallon had we not had that information and been able to, to plan ahead and do some of the things that this community had to do. Snowtel data are used to make streamflow forecasts for small creeks all the way up to the mighty Colorado River in southern Nevada. The uses of Snowtel data stretch far beyond the NRCS water supply mission. The data are also useful for backcountry winter recreation, such as skiing, snowshoeing, and snowmobiling, as well as for avalanche forecasting. Snowtells also allow you to track snow levels during the fall for hunting trips or in the spring or early summer for backpacking adventures. All NRCS data are freely available on the internet to the public. The Nevada NRCS maintains a website with links to data, maps, graphs, and reports which summarize conditions for individual snowtell sites as well as 12 major basins across our region. Additionally, each winter, the Nevada NRCS publishes its Water Supply Outlook Report on a monthly basis from January 1st to May 1st. Please go to our website to subscribe for this report. To reach the website, type Nevada NRCS Snow Survey into your web browser. Thanks for your interest in the Snow Survey program. Here in Nevada, we live in the driest state in the country and we really depend on that snowpack. So if there's anything that we can do to help you out, please contact your local field office. Thanks a lot.